एवरीवन वेलकम टू बॉटनी इनसाइडर सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विद न्यू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द इनहेरिटेंस बायोलॉजी दैट इज यूनिट एट और द जेनेटिक्स यूनिट एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वील बी डीलिंग विद द बेसिक्स ऑफ जेनेटिक्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग ऑल द टर्म्स ऑल द टेक्निकल टर्म्स दैट आर यूज इन द जेनेटिक्स यूनिट सो दैट वंस इन द इनिशियल स्टेप ओनली यू क्लियर ऑल ऑफ दीज डेफिनेशन so that you do not find any difficulty in understanding the meanings of those terms when used in the subsequent videos so let's understand about that what is genetics at the first go so genetics is the study of the inheritance and the variation genetics is a branch of biology that is concerned with the study of the genes the genetic variation and the heredity of the organisms and when we look at the father of modern genetics so the scientist george mendel was the first to study the genetics scientifically and hence he is considered as the father of modern genetics so in genetics what we are focusing upon in in simple word consider this is the first parent and this is the second parent so as a result of a cross between these parents we have a progeny formed let's consider it as a f1 generation so how the traits from the other parents are transferred to the progeny and what are the variations occurring in this and what is the mechanism of these variations this is what we study in the genetics unit so now let's understand about that what are genes what is the genome and all the other terms that might confuse us so talking about that what is a genome so a genome in simple word means the complete genetic material of the organism that is contained in the nucleus of the cell and when we look at the genome closely it is made up of the collection of the chromosomes and what are chromosomes so chromosomes are nothing but a compilation of the dna and what is a dna so dna is the heredity material of the organism and this dna is made up of the genes these terms might sound bit confusing so let's try to define all of these terms one by one but before that let's understand about the various types of genetics so we mainly have three main types of genetics the first one is the classical genetics the second one is the molecular and the third one is evolutionary talking about the classical genetics so classical genetics is the branch of genetics that is based solely on the visible results of the reproductive acts it is the oldest discipline of the field of genetics and the mendelian genetics is basically based upon the way to identify the basic mechanism of heredity we'll be understanding about all the rules all the laws of the george mendel or the mendelian inheritance in complete detail in the next video so the next type is the molecular genetics so molecular genetics is the study of the molecular structure of the dna its cellular activities which includes the replication also and its influence in determining the overall makeup of the organism and the third one is the evolutionary genetics they are actually studying that how the genetic variation leads to the evolutionary change and it includes the topic such as the evolution of the genome structure the genetic basis of speciation and adaptation and it also includes the genetic changes in response to the selection within the population so now this was all about the various types of the genetics now let's try to define about that what is a chromosome what is the dna and what are the other subsequent things so in our body we know that our body is made up of the cells and in the cells we have the chromosomes present and this chromosome is the compilation of the dna and dna in turn is made up of the genes let's define all of them so the first one is chromosome so what is a chromosome so a chromosome is a long dna molecule with the part or all of the genetic material of the organism so we can say that a chromosome is nothing but a long dna molecule that is compiled or compressed in order to reduce the area which it is occupying 
so that the complete genetic material could be packed in a very small size and the next term is locus so what is a locus so it is the location of the alleles on the chromosome that is the location at which any particular gene is present that is what is called as locus we'll understand about that what is an allele in the subsequent slides so this is how a chromosome looks like so one chromosome contains the p arm the q arm it have a centromere present in the center it contains two identical chromatids and these chromatids are that one is the exact copy of another and each of them contain one dna molecule and the dna molecule is nothing but a long string like dna molecule that is formed into a compact structure by the proteins called histones so we have this dna and this dna gets compressed in the form of a chromosome and this occurs by the help of the histones and what are histones so histones are dna binding proteins and if you want to understand about the compilation or if you want to understand that how a dna is packed into a chromosome i have made a detailed video for the same i'll put the links of the same in the description box so do check it out so now let's understand about that what is dna we have understood that the chromosome is made up of the dna so what is a dna now a dna is a chemical name for the molecule that carries the genetic instructions in all the living things the dna molecule consists of two strands that wind together to one another in order to form a double helical structure each strand has a backbone that is made up of alternating sugars these sugars are the deoxyribose and a phosphate group so this is how a dna molecule actually looks like it is a molecule which is double helical that is these two helix are combined together in a helical form and these are all made up of the nitrogenous bases and in case of dna we have four nitrogenous bases that is adenine guanine thymine cytosine i'll be dealing with the structure of the dna and all of its components in complete detail when we'll be studying about unit 1 that is biochemistry so wait for those videos but for this video let's just understand that dna is nothing but a molecule that consists two strands that are binded together to each other by the help of the various bonds present between them and the complete structure is given the name of double helix so this is how a dna looks like now what is a gene we have understood that the chromosome is made up of dna we understood about that what is a chromosome and what is a dna and this dna is actually made up of the various genes so now let's understand that what is a gene so the segment of the dna which synthesizes the protein so we have this dna present double helical so the portion of dna which would be synthesizing the protein is given the name of gene a gene is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity and genes are made up of the dnas some genes act as the instructions to make the molecules that are called as proteins so genes are nothing they are the instructors that help the cell in order to form the proteins however many genes do not code for protein that is all of the genes that are present on the dna do not code for proteins in the humans we have the gene size that vary from a few hundred bases to more than 2 million bases so the size of the gene also vary in humans so now let's look at that what is a gene now so this is the dna and we have made it into a linear structure so any portion of the dna is given the name of gene which is the transcribed region so this gene gets to through the process of transcription and then we have the rna processing which goes through the translation and finally we have our product that is the protein so this was about that what is a chromosome what is a dna and what is a gene so i hope the difference between these terms are clear to you so now let's understand about that what are alleles till now we have understood about that what is a gene so gene is a particular part of dna that is encoding for a product so that product must be some character 
so that character must be having some different forms so alleles are nothing but the different forms of the same gene so when a gene have various forms or different forms so these forms are nothing but the alleles of the same gene the most common example that we have to understand about is so the example of the alleles could be understood by the help of height so height is encoded by some gene and the height of a person could either be tall or short so these are the variations these are the different forms of height so the tall nature and the short nature are the alleles for the height the tall is the dominant nature and the short is the recessive nature so what is dominant and what is recessive so dominant allele is represented by the capital letter and recessive is represented by the small letter dominant as the word suggest is dominant in nature that is whether it is present in this form or whether it is present in this form so it would be expressed because it require only one of the allele for the expression but when we look at the recessive character so two copies of the same alleles must be present so now what does capital a small a and capital a capital a means so these are nothing but homozygous conditions and the heterozygous condition homozygous means same zygote so when we have both of the alleles either dominant or recessive present together we would call it as homozygous and when we have a mixture of a dominant and a recessive allele all together it would be giving the name of heterozygous make sure you remember the difference between homozygous and heterozygous because in complete genetics unit you would have to come across these terms dominant recessive homozygous heterozygous so make sure you remember the difference between them and make sure you understand about the basic logic behind these terms so now let's understand about that what are pseudo alleles till now we understood it about that what are alleles talking about pseudo alleles so pseudo as the word suggest false it means false and position is non allelic and functions as alleles so what does this mean so when two genes show the same character for example this is the chromosome that we are focusing upon we have some character present here and some character present here so these are the locus that is the position of the gene over the chromosome as we have just discussed consider we have this chromosome having a gene here and b gene here irrespective that that these both of the genes are different but both of them would be showing the same character that is for example let's consider that both of them are representing or both of them are encoding for the tall character so this is about the pseudo alleles pseudo allelism is a state in which two genes with the similar functions are located so close to one another that the chromosome that they are in genetically related characteristic of pseudo alleles is that these are very closely related within which the crossing over occurs so we have to understand one more characteristic that both of these must be present very close to each other in order so that they are in recombination process they gets crossed over together in the same chromosome what is crossing over we'll understand about this in the subsequent videos talking about what are iso alleles so iso alleles means that when the alternative forms of the genes show the same character an allele whose effect can only be distinguished from that of the normal allele by the help of special test for example consider this is the chromosome and we have capital a and small a present irrespective of that one is dominant and the other one is recessive but both of them are representing the or both of them are encoding for the tall character so the alternative forms of the same genes are encoding for the same character this is what is actually shown by the iso alleles iso means same so when the alleles show the same character they are given the name of iso alleles 
so now let's understand about that what is multiple alleles so multiple alleles means that multiple alleles exist in the population when there are many variations of a gene present so when we have a gene and there are more than two variations present they are given the name of multiple alleles and the multiple alleles is usually a consequence of the multiple different sequence variants for a gene that is the genetic polymorphism being present in the population and the most common example for the multiple alleles is of the abo blood grouping as we know that we have more than two blood groups in the human population found that is blood group a blood group b blood group ab and blood group o so blood group a have the antigens in the red blood cell of antigen a and the antibodies are present for the anti b and same is the case with all the other so just go through this list you need not to remember about this but make sure that you have a basic understanding of the same so now let's understand about one more important point that the various blood groups contain various enzymes so we have to remember about this because one questions have been framed from this particular area itself so make sure you remember about this that blood group a contains few cos plus n acetyl galactosamine blood group b contains few cos plus galactosamine blood group ab contains few cos plus n acetyl galactosamine plus the galactosamine and blood group a contain only the few cos transferase so make sure you remember about this because as it is question was framed from this particular area in december 2019 you can check out the question it was from part c and you'll be able to solve that question from this area itself so now let's understand about just two more terms that is what is a phenotype and what is a genotype so phenotype is the physical appearance of an organism a phenotype is an individual's observable trait such as height eye color and the blood type some traits are largely determined by the genotypes while other are determined by the environmental factors so what is a phenotype you can remember it from the word itself phenotype is actually representing the physical appearance that is that is how that particular organism is appearing what is the physical appearance that is what is defined by the phenotype and what is a genotype so genotype is the individual's collection of the genes the term can also refer to the two alleles that are inherited for a particular gene a genotype is expressed when the information encoded by the gene's dna is used to make the protein and the rna molecules in simple terms you have to understand that genotype represents the genetic makeup that whether the organism is homozygous or whether the organism is heterozygous so this is about the genotype so you can see that genotype is when the genes tell the body how to do the things and phenotype is that the body organized based upon what the gene says that is example is the thumbprint we have our thumbprint depending upon what is the protein encoded by the gene one more example is that genotype is that when the genes tell how the body should do and phenotype is that what would be the height would be represented by actually that what the gene would be telling it so these are the two examples of what is the difference between a genotype and a phenotype and with this we are done with the basic terms of the genetics unit in detail i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please do like share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up very soon with more videos from the genetic unit and the other you and the other important topics also so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye